All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson three. And in this lesson, students are going to be continuing playing with the all the different ways to represent a two-digit number. They're gonna be thinking about a two-digit number as tens and some ones, or they're gonna be thinking about it as just a bunch of ones. Uh, they're gonna continue thinking about it inside a place value chart. Uh, we're just allowing our students to experience these numbers and understand these two-digit numbers in a variety of different ways. So let's get started. So we're going to start with some realia, some real things here, and count as many as tens as you can, and then, you know, finish with the leftover ones. So we see that we've got ten here and a ten here, so we've got two tens, and we see that we've got three ones over here, so we have three ones. So we have two tens and three ones. And what is that the same as? Well, that's the same thing as having 23 ones. So the idea is, if we had uh, like a base 10 blocks and we had a rod of 10 cubes, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, um, we want students to be able to see that these, whoa, that these 10, uh, 110 is the same thing, 110 is the same thing as 10 ones, all right? And that's basically where we're going with this, that two tens and three ones, uh, we could say that's 23, but that's the same thing as 23 ones, and that's the key point here. So let's just kind of, another example, we've got 10, 10, 10, so we've got three tens, and then we've got six ones, so three tens and six ones is the same thing as 36 ones. Now here we're just kind of connecting all of these different representations, so when I see this, two tens and nine ones, I'm supposed to know that that's 29 ones. I'm also supposed to know that that's uh, way over here. I could just write the number 29. So we've got 29 is two tens and nine ones, which is 29 ones. Another way we could think of this is right here. So we could think of this as, so three tens and eight ones. So that's 38 ones. And we could think of this as 38. This one's a little tricky. They've, they've used the commutative property on us, and they put the ones in the front and the nine, tens in the back. That's a little unconventional, parents and teachers, so heads up on that. So nine ones and three tens. We want our students to see that that's 39 ones, which is 39. So right here, parents and teachers in particular, this is allowing our students to understand, even at a very informal stage, the commutative property. And lastly, choose at least one number less than 40. Okay, so let's do uh, 27. And how would we show 27 in a number bond? Well, we would put 27 here. We'd put 20 here. And we'd put 7 there. Um, Parents and teachers, we could reverse the 20 and the 7 if we wanted to. We would put the 7 here and the 20 here, and that would be allowed. In fact, let me write that down right here. So if students wanted to, and be a little counterculture, <laughs> that's okay, and they can write it down like that. And what would we do for as grapes? What would that look like? Well, we would draw two groups of 10 grapes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use an, a 10 frame because I can. And so I am going to fill in, oh, let's do red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's another ten. But then we have seven leftovers, right? So that's two groups of ten. Now we need seven leftovers. 
So I'm going to do, oh, let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So parents and teachers notice I put that in group 5, kind of like a 10 frame system. So there's our two tens and seven ones. Here's 20 and 7, and here's two tens and seven ones. And that wraps up first grade, module 4, lesson 3, where students are uh, continuing to interpret the two-digit numbers in a variety of different ways. Particularly this time, not only are we thinking of it as tens and some ones, but we're also thinking of it as all ones. So 27 is two tens, seven ones, but it's also 27 ones. And that's the tricky one right there.